This is the max possible Darox setup in Trailblazer Reloaded without the Fremenic region unlocked. This video is the adventure of how I got it and how hard it can hit. Ladies and gentlemen, we just hit 90 magic and that is a big deal because we can now plus 3 boost to 93 magic with a wizard mind bomb and enchant zenite jewelry and we just so happen to have 2 zenite shards in the bank. Equip some zenite jewelry for 200 points, let's enchant these bad boys. Amulet of torture and ring of suffering on the account, that's huge. Zoomed through a ton of tasks, we now only need 10 points. For the next relic and we're gonna get a task from this buddy right here and we now have the tier 7 relic we unlock berserk with this which is super overpowered and now we go to barrows <laughs> look at this guy making me a rock cake <laughs> oh first dh piece we got the axe 73 kc let's go no way on the next chest we got the helm and the play body in one <laughs> three of the pieces in two chests there's actually no way. We just got the legs. 73 was the axe, 74 was the body and the helm, and 75 the legs. The full set in three chests. <laughs> oh my god. We can one hit Necreal? 100% 105? Dude, this is broken. <laughs> you know what the crazy thing is this is not even the strongest we can get we can make more upgrades and get more levels i wonder how high we could hit with this setup Ooh, cave cracking let's get an upgrade to the whip and to the magic setup just got the trident baby let's go oh we got it boys we got the cracking tentacle we are out of here that's massive a hellhound task and with 87 slayer we can use a wild pie to boost up to 92 and kill serb so i think that's what we're gonna do gentlemen all right let's attach the kraken tentacle to the whip for the abyssal tentacle upgrade that is a huge upgrade we're gonna start killing 200 points for that holy we're gonna start off with the darok setup at serb and see how it goes and we might try out the tentacle as well oh smoldering stone Dude, 11 KC Smoldering Stone. This setup with the DH is broken, but let's try out the tentacle. No way! We got the Primordial Crystal! No way! We have four more on task. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna make it right. Oh wait, I can't. I need one more recrafting level. <laughs> oh dude, what is happening? No way. Bagasian Crystal. Oh my... Dude, <laughs> we've gotten three out of the four uniques and 54 kills. <laughs> Here we go, boys. 60 rune crafting, and we can now make the prims. Proceed with the infusion. Look at these bad boys. We got the Jordans on. 200 points for that as well. We are booming. This is our current gear, boys. Look at this monster. All right, let's see what we can hit with this setup, boys. A 121? Dude. Holy. There it is, the 157 for the one at KO. Holy. Bro, this is so broken. Just one-shotting Hellhounds for 116 damage. Oh my god. We are going to go on a final push to get the tier 8 relic. 7,200 points is what I need. I'm going to unlock Undying Retribution for the Inferno. The only thing we need to upgrade in our Darax setup is the Fire Cape into an Infernal Cape. 99 range and 99 mage from Pest Control took only 2 hours. This is super crazy, dude. The rates are just like wild. So we're just one hitting the giant mold. 200. Oh my. Ooh, medium combat achievements done. Let's go. A mithril rank as well. <laughs> I can get a mithril trophy. We did it. 99 prayer on the account. 124 combat. We just need some defense and HP levels, which we'll easily get through Slayer. Yo, we got an eternal gem. <laughs> oh, that's huge. Eternal gem on the account. Wield it and we get 200 league points. Bro, I'm even one hit in blood builds. <laughs> 120s. <laughs> Smoke battle staff 4kc, dude. Come on. 
There it is, boys. We got the occult. We got the occult necklace. Wield it, and we get a free 200 points. Holy. Sins of the Father is done. That's a big one. That unlocks so much content. We can get so much stuff done. Theater of Blood is unlocked. Blood shards are unlocked. We get so much experience. We're going to bust this on agility. I think 240k per use. That's got to be a joke, dude. Boys, that was the freest 800 points ever. 50 mil cooking XP with Karambwans. It only took like 10k actual Karambwans, which ended up being 15k. Dude, that is nuts. First elite clue. We can't even do mimics, so that's fine. Dragon cane, let's go. That's large. Oh, we got an unsired. That's so big. Let's go. Let's go sacrifice this. Do we want the dagger or the pet? Show me the dagger or the pet. Oh, bludgeon piece. Okay, you know what? We take it. We take it. There is 50 Abyssal Sire kills. We are only 530 points away from the tier 8 relic. Let's finish this off. 25 mil attack XP. And that means we have the tier 8 relic unlocked. Let's get that unlocked really quick. And then uh, we still need... I'm going to get a Blood Fury. Don't die. Okay, let me just tell you. We have to go with Undying Retribution. This is so overpowered. I think the cooldown is three minutes. That is so good. Select, confirm. We are now maxed out on the league. We have all the areas and all the relics. And this one is super insane. We're going to use it to get the Inferno. The only thing we need still is a Blood Fury. And we're going to get the Blood Shard right now. Oh, we got the Blood Shard. We got it, gentlemen. Let's go. All right, let's get out of here. We make the Blood Fury Amulet. Yes, combine the Blood Shard. 200 points, and we now have a Blood Fury. We are all set to take on the Inferno. This is our setup for the Inferno. We're bringing Rune Throne Axes for the special attack on the Nibblers, and this is our melee gear. We're going to melee all the way until Triple Jads, and then range the rest. Wish me luck. did it boys man that was a little touch and go but we got it done rcb melee infertile cape on the leagues we are officially a gamer gentlemen i believe this is the maximum possible darok strength bonus you can get in the league let's see if we can one hit a pest control portal there it is 250 damage we one hit it let's see how high this can hit that wasn't even our max hit all right, gentlemen, let's see if we can one-hit Bandos. Oh my god! 255! Before the minions even came out! Oh my goodness. The crazy thing is, that's not even our max hit. Let's go find out what our max hit is. 267. That's the max hit. That's the most damage we can do in one tick, boys. Oh my goodness.